Okay, so what I'm doing here today is just a down and dirty video. Uh, it took me a little bit to figure out. And I thought that I would share it with the rest of the world and try and save you guys a few hours. So what we're working on today is a Freightliner M2. Um, Mercedes engine. It's an 04. Uh, so what I did is I put electric trailer brakes. Uh, I have an electric trailer that I tandem them up to the back of this. And uh, in order to get the trailer brakes to work, you need to have a signal from the brake light switch. Well, on this truck, the brake light switch is located oh, somewhere about mid-frame. And it's controlled by air, and I'm told that it costs about $1,200, and they do not recommend tying into that in any fashion. Uh, so what I came up with, first off, just to get me by, I ran a wire all the way from the back to the front so I can pull my load. Of course you know that that makes the uh, makes the uh, trailer brakes, electric brakes come on when you hit a turn signal depending on which side you hooked into. you. So I knew that wasn't working but it did get me down the road that day. So here's what I came up with to uh, alleviate the problem and not tie into the $1200 switch that they're so concerned about overloading or having corrosion issues with. Not to mention that it looked like it would be next to impossible to find the actual wire that you need without poking a million of them. So what I got here is a quarter inch, quarter inch T. It's a quarter inch air both ways straight through, and then a quarter inch threaded MPT um, into a generic switch that activates with the air. So that was pretty simple and then to figure out which line to put it on I just disconnected, stepped on the brakes and well on the, the M2 model this is the line. It's actually red going into there. Uh, I'd add a little bit on which is black. So uh, powered it off of the box there. Came right into the main stud um, which also feeds the brake controller. I got a relay on there like you're supposed to have. For the brake light switch, I added an inline fuse um, just to make sure I didn't have any issues there. So, in theory, once you get it in, you should be able to step on the brake. Um, that should apply air to that switch and then give me brake controller function. Let's check it out. Oh, look at that! Very nice. So that's what I came up with and I think if somebody just went that direction right out of the gate and saved themselves the hassle of trying to figure that all out and I just want to add that the, the Freightliner dealer was not a lot of help on that either they didn't really have a good solution for the problem so um, that's what I came up with I hope you like the video and I'm out.